And in our continued series of reports on President Ruto's first 100 days in office, tonight we turn our attention to the security sector and look at what the administration promised to deliver in the security docket within the first three months. Here now is NTV's Brian Obuya taking us inside the promise, the delivery and the hits and misses. Before the euphoric inauguration of the man who served as Kenya's second in command for 10 years, Ruto made several promises which he intended to fulfill in his first 100 days. With the promises followed keen focus on the administration. That focus is what people like Isaac Adambwa have been following closely. From where I sit, uh, we don't have any problem with somebody promising. Eh? I'll do ABCD as such. But the problem, some of those uh, promises were overambitious. Because if you look like um, at the issue of the cost of living, basic uh, life in the Republic of Kenya, if you look at the issue that what is now going on in terms of um, reform in the, uh, in the national police service and the prison, you know, some of those uh, promises were too much of ambitious. If you can look at the scope, the time frame, some of them are supposed to go through legislation so as to implement. The first commitment Ruto and politicians allied to UDA had made during the Kenya Kwanzaa Manifesto launch was to implement the constitutional requirement of the Police Service Commission to ensure it controlled its own funds, essentially making the Inspector General of Police the man to disburse and account for the millions of shillings. But even then, as President William Ruto fulfilled his mandate, albeit without details of what the police budget constitutes, mamas have continued to grow louder on the role of Ms. Bani Siala Lemedeket, recently named as the Principal Administrative Secretary, or rather the Accounting Officer of the National Police Service, in charge of that budget. The appointment of the former Kenya Pipeline Company Corporation Foundation CSR Manager was a departure from the stipulation of the law. In short, Ruto was implementing the law and breaking it all at the same time. I have given authority for the police to spend, to have their own budget. They don't have to wait for the office of the president anymore. You might think you are doing reforms and we are creating more problems in the same, same office. Therefore, we want to say the best reform is that which emanates from the legislation. It must have checks and balances. But when you point somebody just from uh, anywhere that you want to be accounting officer, at the expense of the IG, that is already a conflict of interest in that particular uh, department. And in, in most importantly, security issue, very sensitive. Very sensitive. So already there is now an official war between the IG and them because they will not be able to feed from the same, same script in terms of implementation, in terms of expenditure, and you know where the money is. That's where the, all the problems emanate from. Ruto and Gashagwa confidently promised police officers at every rally their commitment to ensure that police are well remunerated and their welfare taken care of by this December. That is another failed promise. Under pressure to address the failing promises, President Ruto has today instituted a task force to work on police reforms. The David Maraga-led task force report is what police officers now hope will be used to look into their welfare, and this includes the affordable housing packages for public service and police officers. You see, the government might have a positive kind of thinking towards the same, same what, police. But those things require time. Reform cannot be achieved overnight. Reform is a, is a process. So, those who are campaigning... Uh, uh, offers or promises. But when you come to the ground, you want now to implement the same, same thing. It requires time, it, is, it requires a framework so as to go on smoothly. The administration promised contributory benevolent fund for families of fallen and terminal ill police officers, a review and improved pay for police officers, and insurance cover for loss of life on duty. None has been fulfilled. <laughs> 
In what appeared to be a spirited fight to outsmart his main challenger, Raila Odinga, at the time, Deputy President William Bruto weighed in on security issues facing the country, promising to keep the nation safe. However, the Professor Kindiki Kithure led Minister of Interior has been talking tough and achieving the bare minimum. The Interior Ministry has been threatened by runaway muggings and sometimes fatal crimes right in the capital city here in Nairobi. And then there is the continued bloodbath in the troubled Kenyan valleys of death in Kerio Valley, Baringo, and El Geo Brian Obuya, NTV.